Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in today's video, we are getting stuck into installing some HSP load bars to go with our HSP roller cover top. Let's get started. Now these are an awesome bit of kit to add some extra functionality to your HSP roller cover. And the best thing about it is it is specifically designed for it. So it takes advantage of the tracks that sit all the way down the length of the roller covers. It also has an engineered bracket that not only looks awesome, but also puts all of the load down the strongest part of the tub, which is on the outside here. They're good for up to 80 kilos and they comes with two bars. So you can imagine there's all sorts of stuff that you can use with that as far as cargo, cargo carriers, that kind of thing. But for our purposes in our overland setup, things like rooftop tents and all of that sort of good stuff will go on there, no problem at all. So without further ado, let's unbox this thing and see what we get. And here we go, here is everything that comes in the box. We have our rubber weather stripping that's designed to go onto our crossbars themselves. Prevents a bit of the, uh, the old noise factor, but then also keeps the water out. Here's our snazzy brackets. Check out these bad boys, they look, they look awesome. So there you can see the little notch out. That's designed for this section here. So you can see that's where that's gonna sit. That's where it attaches into just a little bit like that. But then the benefit of that is it's putting all the load onto the strongest part of the tub. So that's where you're getting the 80 kilos. That's awesome. We have all our nuts and bolts. We have our little T-slots here. It comes with a bunch of those ready to go, which is awesome because that's the cool thing with these is they have their own channel. Comes with absolutely everything you need. So let's get cracking on putting this slot together so we can install it on top of our roller cover. So step one is to grab our channel nuts. These guys here, so we can bust out a couple of those. We need to put four of these guys per rail. So they're pretty straightforward on how you use them. It's just a matter of slotting them in the end, just a little bit like that. Straight across like that, four of in each of the rails. Just like that, rinse and repeat on the other side. Then the next step is to slide two of them down the other end and do those ones later. Then so you've got two, you then need to take out our bolt from each of these. So you're left with just the channel nut. Just like that, and then from there, grab one of your brackets. Now we wanna make sure this is installed the right way because we are, it kind of looks sort of backwards a little bit when you first put it on, but then it makes sense when you've got the bar on. So you wanna make sure that our little holes here are facing in towards the tub. Make sure that they're facing inwards on here as well, and you can see what we're doing here, right? You just gotta line up our holes here so that they line up in there. Same on this side, perfect. And then it's a matter of screwing these guys back down. And top tip at this point is you don't wanna go maniac tight these down at this point. Just get them sort of finger tight because you may need to adjust them once they're on. So just tighten them down so that they're on there, but don't go crazy tighten them down just yet. Once you've got all of those on, just a matter of doing the same on all four so that they're ready to then start fitting onto the actual roller cover. So there we have it. We have all four of our legs all installed. Our next step is to install our little foam pads here. So all you need to do is just give, give the bottom of the feet here just a bit a quick wipe over I and mean, they should be should be pretty clean anyway but give them a quick wipe over and then it's a matter of sticking our little adhesive protection pads they go on there just like that follow the shape each of those on each of those and then we can move on to putting these onto the tub so there we go all nice and padded up the next step is we want to remove our front cover so grab your three mil allen and we can head on around to our front cover here Oh, check out that sticker, pretty cool. From here, it's a matter of just removing our front cover so that we can access our weather stripping in our channel here. So just remove the cover itself. And we can just sit that to the side carefully for the moment. And then this is what we wanna to get to here. So you can see here's the start of our strip here. It's a matter of just pulling that out and just get a firm grip on there. And then just pull that all the way out and then just set that to the side for the moment. We need to do the same on the other side so that we have exposed our gutter channel along here like this. Then once we've got that done, it's a matter of grabbing our little bag of bolts, nuts and bolts here. We wanna get the nuts off here and we wanna do four on each side. We've got a little cutout here on the end. We can slide each of those in, slide them across so they're ready to bolt everything to. Now top tip for sliding these along is use that Allen key. It makes life really easy. We're gonna line up two on either side two there 
and for us two down at the end here as well. And then once all our bolts are in on both sides, the next step is to line these guys up. Now, a bit of a trick with this is if you sit them on the ends here like that, you wanna measure both our sides here to make sure we're equidistant around the, on the sides. And then once you are about there, the easiest way I've found is if you slide these guys along, you can kind of line it up with the rail before you flip them over. So then they're basically in the right spot. So you can see we want to line that up with our rail. Do the same here, about there as well. I want to do the same with this guy, because then you can easily slide it down to where you want it over the end here. And then it's pretty straightforward to then flip it into place and slot this guy into place there as well. Just like that. And then from here, you don't have to worry about too much about this, making sure that's right, just for the sec. We'll get our brackets installed and connected, bolted up first, then come back over, grab your bolts, the ones, the, the ones that you pulled off there before. And then these guys come in over the top and they line up with our bolts that we had in here from before. So that's our next step. We want to bolt these guys down and secure the bars into place. Good stuff. So tighten those guys down, not maniac tight, it is alloy, but just regular tight. Your lock washers are gonna do some work there as well. Perfect, going nowhere. And it's a matter of rinse and repeating. One, two, and three. Right, so we're in on all four sides. The next step is to grab your tape because we've got to do some measuring. One, the first thing we want to measure is to make sure we're the same on either side. So easiest way is just to pick your mark. I've just gone from here to here, and then the same on both sides. So you can measure that out so that you're happy with that on both sides. And then same thing, I've gone from here to the end of our rail here as well, and then measured up to be exactly the same. So we know they're good. Once you've done that, we can get in underneath here to our little bolts that we came installed earlier, grab our 10 mil socket or ratchet spanner, or et cetera. We wanna tighten these guys right down so that they're nice and tight. And then from there, only a couple of steps left. Awesome, awesome stuff. So they're all good to go, all tightened down. The next step we need to do is to fill in the blanks. So along our gutters here, that is what our big bit of stripping is here. This is designed exactly for that. So it's a perfect fit there for the C-channel. It's a matter of just dropping that in there, just like that, all the way along. It should form a nice grippy surface so that whatever you're putting on there is gonna be nice and secured. Definitely a two-handed job, as you can see. But basically, we wanna run that all the way along to our other side, and then same story on this side. Trim any excess, just with uh, some sharp snips, so that it is all the perfect length. Get all that nice and neat, and then from there, we'll move on to installing the end caps. And there we go, there's our weather stripping all in. All looking awesome. Now, our next step is to do something about this. So. Good news, we've got some end caps, of course. So that's what these guys are, pretty awesome. So we just have some little Allens and these two aside. And it's a matter of those just clipping in there, just a little bit like that. They're kind of designed to, to slot in. You can see the little, little insert parts there. So they just sit on there like that. Then we just go bolt, bolt, done. And there we go, they should be looking a little bit like that. These definitely don't need to be maniac tight, just regular tight, just to snug these up here on the end. That looks awesome. Couple of steps to go. The next part we wanna do is to grab our strip that we retained here before, this stuff here. And it's a matter of just popping that into place and trimming it to suit. So we sort of trim along there, a little bit inside there, this strip along here, etc. So you wanna keep it all nice and watertight, keep all that water out of there if you can help it. So. Just uh, custom trim that to length on both sides. There we go, we have all of our stripping in, all looking pretty good. Final step here is we just need to replace our cover so we can pop that back on top. Just gently slot it down into place there, just like that. And that's a matter of just getting our little grub screws and tightening them back down. And there we go, curtain cover all in place. We are all done. We are done, it is in position. I reckon those things look the business and they are super sturdy as well. So there we have it guys, that is the install of the HSP load bar system. What do you think? I think these things are super strong and they look the business as well. That is awesome. They are gonna go an absolute treat with what is next for the DMAX build, what's coming up. 
obviously we needed to install these for a certain reason. So keep an eye out on the channel for what is coming up next with those. Check out the links below if you're interested in a set of these from HSP. As with anything, great bit of kit and nice and easy to install as you've just seen. Of course, big thanks to the patrons of Video Show Me How, the extra support guys, thank you very much. But other than that, as always guys, I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Cheers guys.